right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Ken, and thank you for tuning in to the Nightly Sports Call. Give us a call, 412-575-2600 is the number. I'm on tonight with Ron Cook. We'll be taking your phone calls. We'll also be entertaining some tweets. And how about the Cleveland Indians? They go on to win their 22nd straight game tonight. Unbelievable what's going on with Cleveland. Uh, Ron Cook actually had a chance to spend some time with Terry Francona last, last night. night. Yeah, he, they played yesterday, and John Hirschbeck, a former Major League umpire, Rich, uh, he lost a couple of horrible disease, and he started a foundation, a charity, and I was invited, a good friend of mine, Sean Pregabon, uh, owns the, the, uh, all, the Sports Grill in Cranberry, invited me out to the, it's the Lake Club in Youngstown, and big function last night. Jim Tomei was there. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. Um, Sean Casey from Upper St. Clair was there, and Terry Francona was the honored guest. I've known Terry for 40 years, and it, I, it's like talking to him 40 years ago. Um, it was so nice to see him, and it couldn't happen to a better guy. He's a Hall of Fame manager. He led Boston to two World Series after ending their years and years and years drought. I'd like to see him end it with Cleveland, win another one. That would be three. That's an automatic stamp to the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Great person. His dad, Tito. I know. I know the family. I covered Terry's major league debut. And they had a chance last year. They were so close. Can't get any closer. Um, Losing no. extra innings yeah. in the seventh game. Yeah, they were close last year, and I was rooting for them. You know, I, I, you like got to root for these Twenty-two in teams. a row. Can you, I mean, I, you know, we had Ray Searidge on our radio show today, and I said, Ray, you know how hard it is to sweep a weekend series. He goes, yeah. And he goes, 22 in a row. It's almost unfathomable. Yeah. Think about that. It is amazing what they're doing, and I find myself rooting for them. I'm watching it. I'm on the edge of my seat. And tonight they're you know, down. how they win. They're down one in the eighth inning. They had second and third, one out. They don't score. Now they go to the ninth, they score, tie it up, and then win it in the tenth. What a, what a story. Yeah, what a story in Cleveland. Unfortunately, that's not going on in Pittsburgh, and we'll get into that a little bit later in the show. But, hey, the Pirates do have a reason to celebrate tonight because of the Altoona Curve, who went on to win the Eastern League Championship for the second time since 2010. So congratulations to the Curve. The Curve can win championships, but the Pirates can't well, run. Well, it never so. hurts when players yeah. in your organization win. Win championships, they get the taste of it. They get to know how to how to do it. It never hurts. Now, is that going to translate to the major league level? We'll see. Yeah, Mitch Killer uh, pitched again, pitched pretty well tonight. So they go on to win a championship in Altoona. We'll also get into the Steelers. Uh, they have a big game on Sunday. They're five-point favorites against the Vikings now. That spread went down a little bit. And one of the reasons they're only a five-point favorite is what Sam Bradford's been able to do so far through one game. He's been pretty impressive, and they have a pretty explosive offense, it looks like. it. he put up some big numbers. And I wouldn't have guessed that, Ron, uh, looking now, at this team at the beginning I, of the year. I've never been a big fan, but he was NFC defense, uh, Offensive Player of the Year a week. Uh, Dalvin Cook, the running back from Florida State, at 127 yards. He's got a really good line, really good receivers. It's going to be a real test for the Steelers, both offense and defensively. I think if they play like they did against Cleveland, they'll probably get beat, but I don't anticipate them. I think they'll play a lot better. All right, we're taking your phone calls tonight, 412 575 Give us a call in a couple minutes right here on the Nightly Sports Call. See you then.